Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot again. I hope everybody's well. I'm knocking them out tonight. I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm full bore. <laughs> Probably gonna energetically kick my own ass, but damn it, I'm getting these done tonight. Okay, so I got two left for the bonus round. And tomorrow starts Virgo season. So guess what? Uh <laughs> Guess what I'm doing tomorrow night when I'm done with the bread and butter job? We're starting September reads. We're doing it. Trying to get them all done before the 31st of August. It's it's a dream that will not die. I, I, damn it, I'm doing this. So, And I'm not taking a day off from tarot until I get it done. So, whew, all right. What are we doing? What are we doing? Who is it? Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Virgo, you're up. Okay. This reading will be for Virgo. I'm going to actually put this over here so it's not on the table anymore. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do, Virgo, with a message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it does resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can, and maybe vice versa, might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers are always welcome here at Fire Star Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by to come down and say hi to little old me, the lonely tarot reader who gets banned to different parts of her house so she can do her thing because quite frankly I'm just a rubber stamp around here I, I just go to work and pay the bills they're the ones in charge I <laughs> don't tell them that because they'd eat that up but seriously I just I do where I do my work where I can do my work so <laughs> it's fine that's a mom thing right I mean it's totally a mom thing anyway Okay, while you're here, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, that would be super awesome if you could hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I upload because it's definitely going to start being more regularly. And hit the like button if you like what you see. It all helps the channel and it is all super greatly appreciated. Okay, a couple things we got to go over, Virgo, before I throw your cards down. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I just, quite frankly, don't recommend it. And by life-altering, I mean if it's going to fuck your universe up and destroy everything you've worked for, if you make the wrong decision, I would not listen to a deck of cards. I don't care if they're mine or somebody else's. Go inside. Sort it out for yourself. Who fell out? Okay, I only saw the Six of Swords. So somebody could be moving on from something towards something. You're crossing choppy waters. Take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. We'll see if it comes back out. Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, if it's not making sense in your life, leave the damn cards on the table and walk away. It's probably not your message. It's not going to resonate with every Virgo every time. That's not how the universe works. You can take what resonates, but leave what doesn't. If the shoe's not fitting, don't buy it and take it home. That just doesn't make sense. Okay. On with it. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo for what's left of the month of August. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again tonight. I appreciate you. I'm eternally grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you give me the clarity to accurately bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Virgo, what the hell are you doing here? Three swords. You're heartbroken. That hurt. Still hurts. Okay. What happened? Rear view mirror. Nine of Pentacles. Reversed. Somebody may have gotten a little clingy. Maybe you got a little bit clingy. This, this, is, this is screaming codependency. You know, codependent energy has a tendency to scare the shit out of people, right? I mean, just throwing that out there. I don't know who got codependent, but the energy is there. Empress reversed in the here and now. It just didn't grow. It wasn't meant to. And when I see this card in the reverse, I'm compelled to say it. If there has been a loss of a child, I am deeply sorry. And I feel that on a soul level, I've gone through that. It is not a nice feeling. If it's your story, I apologize. If it's not, leave it. Okay? 
We're going to see what the rest of the cards have to say before we go there the rest of the way. Two cups reversed in the future. Okay. Person you're dealing with. Universe source spirit guides. Can I get the energy of the person Virgo is dealing with? Person or situation Virgo is dealing with for the rest of August. Talk to me. Two more shuffles. One. And two. Strength reverse. Somebody is drained. Or able to hold back. Again, we'll get clarity in a minute. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. I just figured out what the problem is, but I'm going to keep throwing down cards. Three of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. I may or may not be a little bit confused, but... That's why we get clarity, which brings me to the next topic. I got a new deck the other day. I've been showing this off like crazy. It's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I'm in love with this deck of cards. I'm in love with it. It's my new favorite deck. And I'm probably um, once Virgo and I, who's, who's going to be last this time? Pisces. Once y'all's readings are done, I'm probably literally going to box this up and keep it on the shelf and only bust it out for special readings because I don't want anything horrible to happen to it. I had to replace yet another gilded tarot the other day because it got wet and it literally fell apart in my hand when I went to go do somebody's personal reading. And it was a sobbing moment and I had to run out to BAM and replace that. And I've decided that if I, if I toast another gilded deck, I'm just not going to buy gilded decks anymore because madness seems to think that it's cursed, but neither here nor there. Let's get clarity. Virgo's like, get to the point. Faith, get to the point. I got shit to do. Right on. Right on. Okay. Universe source, spirit guides. Can I get clarity for Virgo and the person or situation Virgo is dealing with for what's left of August, please? Virgo, what you broken hearted about? Universe, what's up with this three of swords? Five of swords, okay. You won. This is victory at a cost. This is the battle on the beach. The ultimate avoidable argument. Shit. Hmm. One more. Somebody left with all the swords. Somebody left with nothing. Death reversed. Ten of cups reversed. Somebody was not willing to change. Might have been you. Might have been them. Metamorphosis was not occurring or it wasn't occurring fast enough. Somebody won happy. Ten of cups reversed. Okay. All right. I'm not beating that dead horse anymore. Why is strength reversed here for the other person? Knight of Cups reversed. One more. Shit. 
chariot tower. Well, shit. Okay. They're drained. They're defeated. Their cup has been spilled. Their cup has been rejected. They have nothing left to say. They're trying to emotionally distance themselves from this and they're letting the tower fall. Why do towers fall? We'll leave it in the comment if you know the answer. Why do towers fall? Okay, I'll give you the answer. Towers fall because they're meant to. Towers fall because they're not meant to stand. And it is what it is. So. Why is the Empress reversed here? Oh, wow. That spit out an answer. I think I had a flipper too. Maybe not. No lie, no shit. Empress reversed, Empress reversed. <sighs> it's not meant to grow. King of Wands reversed. No forward movement. You're manifesting new foundations. <clears throat> Whew. New, 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 new. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for them? Could be concentrating on work. Things of a studious nature. Judgment. It's the card of resurrection. Someone could be working out how to rebuild the tower with you or rebuild a steady foundation with you and try to resurrect this. I'm not thrown anymore on that. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here in Virgo's side for the past? Six of Cups reversed. Somebody get a little needy. Possibly. There's a little bit of salt in the sugar. There's some salty feelings. Ace of Swords reversed. Maybe you needed something, kind words, and somebody couldn't find them. Maybe somebody didn't know what to say. Queen of Pentacles. Woman who knows her worth. 
and expects and accepts nothing less. Maybe they tried to keep you codependent and you had to rise up out of it. I don't know. I don't know. What is Nine of Pentacles upright for them? <coughs> Ten of Wands reversed. King of Cups. Sometimes people who are used to being extremely independent don't do emotions well. Six of Wands reverse lack of victory. Um, they don't do emotions well. The King of Cups is someone who is full of emotion but doesn't know how to express it or doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve but it's there. And... <sighs> Sometimes they, they, they view emotions as burdensome. Bringing us back to the very case specific point that I made earlier. I'm going to address it again. If this had something to do with the loss of a child. Sometimes people can't find the words. I've experienced that. So I feel that on a soul level. But if it's not yours, leave it alone. It could have just been the breakdown of the relationship can't find the words can't find the words but you rose up out of it Virgo you rose up out of it you found your worth you became the queen of pentacles I think that shook them up a little bit kind of took eyes off them maybe All right, we're going to move to the future. Why is this Two of Cups reversed here? High Priestess reversed. Five of Wands, Strife. Somebody gives, I see somebody getting egomaniacal. You're... A mm, little bit of an ego problem causing some drama and this disconnect. Could be this person trying to come back. Maybe they got a little bit of an ego problem. Six, six of swords. I see you moving on from this. And I see you keeping moving because you're manifesting new things in your life and new foundations. Three of pentacles, three of pentacles. I love them. Wheel, wheel of the year. One on the wheel of the year, please. Well, shit. Nine of cups, ten of swords. That's beautiful. They're closing out a painful cycle of their own and finding their happiness again. One more. Two of swords, but they're doing it painfully. Not an easy decision for them. It's all about the approach. I don't think they approached you very well. You were very two of cups reversed. Drama, strife, ego. How dare you take eyes off me? I don't know. I don't know. Super weird, I guess. Okay. Not much more to say. I think that was pretty short, sweet, and to the point. I got it under 20 minutes so far, so... Wow, Virgo. Okay. You need to heal. Don't start anything new right now. Nine of Wands reversed. You need to lay low. And allow yourself to heal. Don't get all wrapped up in this. 
Don't make her take any offers right now. Okay? And don't get impatient with the process or you're going to miss the new pentacle. You need to process the heartbreak. Okay? Don't ignore it. Okay? Or you're going to miss the next big thing. Paraffin reversed. You're going to miss the ultimate if you don't process through this. Okay? Just nothing new right now. Okay? Victory at a cost is not an easy thing. But you need to maintain a positive attitude and don't let your emotions get away from you. Chariot, keep the distance. The Four of Pentacles says hold on to what you need to hold on to and let go of what you need to let go of. Okay? Don't hold on to this for too long. Or you're going to miss it. because it's going to come quick. Okay. Process. But don't sit on it forever. Do you understand the difference? Okay. Because that's just going to lead to an internal struggle if you ignore the next cup. Know what cups you need to ignore and know what cups you need to look at. Princess of Cups reversed, yes, for the moment. No take it to making offers. Because you got something you need to let go of here. Before you can move on to the world before you. It's all about closing before you reopen. Because right now you're drained. Five of Swords again. Victory at a cost. Don't let this cost you your sanity. Allow the death cycle to occur. Do not try to stop it. Because the death cycles are the ones that heal you. Okay. All right. A couple from the Crystal Power, uh, Crystal Power Tarot, and call it a read. Okay, the Empress in the upright this time. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. It may be time to express your creative side. Sometimes expressing our creative sides helps us heal. Start a new project. Page of Wands. I'm always open to good news. It's not all bad news. It's not all bad news. Two of Cups. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Two of Cups came out again. How many times did the Two of Cups come out? Okay. All right. One more. Two more. Six of Pentacles. I give and receive for the universal good. It is all about balance and equality. You have to learn to give as well as receive. Seven of Wands. I actively hold true to my values. Be true to yourself. It is your journey and no one else's. They are your shoes. Wear them well and wear them out. Keep walking. Okay? Virgo, I love you. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Thank you so much. Hopefully by the end of August, I'll have all the September reads done. We'll see how it goes. But... If it doesn't happen by the end of August, just know that there will be a next time because there is always a next time. 
know that you're loved and be blessed and I will catch you later.